Just a small video about the planar rotate snap axis tool in Modo. So I have two cubes in my scene. This one has been rotated and let's say that I want to align this cube to that cube. The first, the first thing I am going to do is activate drag snap rigid and select this vertex, click and drag it to that vertex, drop my tool. So now that vertex has been aligned. So I've chosen the vert that is closest to that geometry to drag this geometry over there. Now I'm going to activate the planar rotate snap axis tool and I'm going to click on that same vertex. So now that tool is positioned at that vertex. So I could first rotate this vertex over here or I could also rotate this vertex over there so let's do that so with this tool you have three widgets that you need to adjust so when you hover over them you have a triangle uh, sorry a square over here another square over here and I don't know if it will be visible in the video but you see that a tooltip appears when you hover over it. You also have a little square and you have a little circle over here and it highlights yellow when you hover over it. So there are four widgets that are important. So first I'm going to drag this one to the center of that edge. That other square I'm going to drag that one to the center of that edge. So now those squares are positioned at the edges that I want. And then I'm going to place the plus sign or the crosshair to the vertex that I want to snap as is uh, to say it like that. So it will become clearer once I actually do the rotating. So I'm going to click and drag this and you have to be careful that you do not click anywhere else because you will reposition your tool. So again, it can be a bit difficult. So click. So I have dragged that crosshair to that vert up here. So that is the vert that I want to snap to that vert. And how do I do that? Well, now I have to go to that little circle over here. And when it highlights, you click and drag, and I'm not going to do it at first, I'm just going to show what I am going to do. So when it highlights, when I now click and drag, then I'm going to move my cursor to that vert. So let's do that. I'm hovering over that little circle, it highlights the yellow when you see the tooltip appear. Click and drag, and I'm going to click to drag, and when you are on that vert, you see a little blue or bluish or purplish dot appear. Now I've rotated the geometry to that vertex. And now I need to do the same to rotate it over here. So again, my planar rotate snap axis tool. I'm going to click on that vert, position this square on this edge. I could do it in the center or further down, doesn't really matter as long as it's aligned with that edge. The other square on this edge. The crosshair, I'm going to put that over here because that is the vertex that I want to snap over there. So crosshair over here until it snaps to that vert. And again, hover over that little circle and click and drag it to that vert over here. So click and drag to that vert. And now it's aligned. I'm not letting go yet, just yet. I will show you that you can also snap to other verts. You see, now it's actually snapping to other verts. And it's always the verts where I put my crosshair that actually, as if you will, is being positioned, if you will, say it like that. So I want it to be over here and you see the little 
purplish dots over there. So let go and now drop my tool. So now I have aligned it. So Control Z to undo. Just wanted to show you that you position your squares and maybe I should drop my tool again instead of undo. So drag my squares to the edges that I want to rotate, then drag the crosshair to the vert that I want to be the snapping vert, hover over the little circle until it highlights, and then click and drag to the vert you want it to snap to. And let's go of your mouse button and drop the tool and you have planar rotated with snap axis. So just wanted to show you the planar rotate snap axis tool in action. Hope you found it useful. Bye for now.